Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and I have a 3-in-1 video for Unity developers today. So we got three different pieces of news going on and I decided to incorporate them all into one video. The common thread of course being Unity Game Engine. So what I'm going to do is start off with the eye candy part and I will actually circle back to it. So what we've got today is a new high-end 2D demo they just released. Uh, there is a new mega asset sales going on and then we've got Unity price increases. So we're going to cover all of that news today but let's start off really quickly with demo demonstrating the new 2D scene. It's called uh, Lost Tomb or Lost Temple. Lost Temple, I believe. Uh, and here you can see it running in the editor. I don't really know what's going on here, but these trees are updating exceedingly slow. But this is designed to showcase all of the new 2D functionality built into the Unity game engine. And we start things off, I'll just actually play it for you. Now, i got to warn you, there is audio here, but this is super, super short. So, um, you know, put on your headphones or whatever. Right now, I'm going to play it. Uh, so do expect some sound. Here we go. Pretty straightforward. It's very, very short. But what you're seeing is a character animated with inverse kinematics. Uh, you've got multiple layers going on. You've got dynamic terrain that she's running on. Uh, we've got daylight cycle. We've got dynamic lights, as you can see right here. And then when we get to the end, we're going to see a particle system in effect right here. And then the daylight cycle is going to shift. Boom. So now it is nighttime. So this is a very short example but it's demonstrating a lot of the capabilities of Unity's 2D functionality. Now we're going to run back, and there's going to be a little ghoul hiding behind a... Oh, I have to jump. It's also using the new input system, by the way. So we'll get to the very end here, we'll see a little ghoul hiding behind the tree, and he, these guys are dynamically controlled. Uh, they only come out at night. There you go. That is the example, so like I said. It isn't huge, sorry for the audio, uh, but that is an idea of what this is all about. And it's actually showcasing very many concepts that you would actually use in a full fat game. And additionally, uh, the demo is designed as a teaching tool. So you can see here it's broken down into different categories. So it's Lost Crypt, not Lost Temple, sorry. Uh, you can see you can have it automatically jump to the various different pieces. So we've got the sprite rigging that was done for the main character. Uh, we can jump to that and get details on that on how she set up the pieces that went to make her, the normal mapping done to do the lighting on her. Uh, the camera is controlled by Cinema Machine. We can jump to the specific details of that. Universal Render Pipeline, the 2D renderer is being used. You can configure that here. 2D lighting is being used here, and you can automatically jump to it. For some reason, it's really not happy about me clicking that, though. Oh, we crashed. All right. So uh, it isn't flawless. I'm not sure why this just crashed, but it did. So uh, do be aware that, that you can run into some growing pains as well, but it is a very curated experience, which is very cool. And we'll get back to a bit of this example uh, when we discuss the blog post in just a second. But now I want to get on to the second piece of news, and that is the new set of bundles going on. Uh, there will be links for all of this down below. Uh, so there's three sets of bundles, and you can tell that Unity has been paying attention to Humble Bundle because they're taking the same kind of approach. It's all based off of different tiers. You buy a tier, you get that tier. Uh, you buy a high dollar tier, you get all the tiers below it. And you can also uh, give more money if you so wish, and that money will go to the authors of the pack. Um, so at the $15 tier, this is the first one. This is the World Building Mega Bundle, and personally, probably my favorite of the three bundles. Uh, at the first tier, you get uh, $15, gets you the Nature Renderer, the Rocky Hills Environment Pro Pack, and the Digger Terrains, Caves, and Overhangs. And then for $40, uh, you get this, plus you get Meadow Environment Dynamic Nature, uh, Complete uh, terrain shader, uh, you get Aura 2 volumetric lighting and fog, M tree tree creation, and then at the $60 price point, you get all of the above plus Weather Maker, uh, Gaia, which is again normally over 60 bucks by itself, and the one that I really like. I've actually uh, did a video specifically on Gaia in the past. Uh, Vegetation Studio, Crest Ocean Systems, uh, Universal Render Pipeline, uh, Forest Environment Nature, uh, Dynamic Nature, and then the Winter Environment Nature Pack. So you're getting a lot of content for your 60 bucks. Now, do be aware, uh, Aura 2, for example, uh, I believe Gaia. Uh, and a couple of these other ones were actually in the prior Unity Humble bundle. And you may be wondering, okay, well, if I don't need an asset, do I have to pay for it? Because they had that in one of their previous bundle setups. Nope, you got to buy everything. So if that kind of ruins the bundle for you, unfortunately, that's the way it is. And you'll notice this is being recorded on December the 18th. So you basically have until January 1st uh, to pick all of this up. 
The second bundle is all oriented towards low polygon. Once again, there are three different tiers of this bundle and their wording is really confusing, but you do actually get all three tiers. So I'll show you in a second. Um, so first off, you get this first tier. Um, you get the simple town cartoon assets, simple office interiors, polygon uh, prototype pack, and the city pack. You can, by the way, you can drill down on any of these to get a better idea of what's included in them. And again, I do think some of these assets were included in the prior Humble Bundle, so do be sure to check that you don't have duplication. Uh, you jump up to the $40 tier, and you're going to see each one of these, the, the savings are different by the tier. Uh, but in this particular case, you get Simple Military, Simple Apocalypse, Polygon Knight Pack, Polygon Heist Pack, Polygon Adventure Pack, and then the Polygon Samurai Pack. And then at the final $60 tier, you get the Polygon Viking Pack, Pirate Pack, Mobile Ready Assets, Sci-Fi City Pack, uh, Simple Racer Mobile Ready Assets, Polygon Western Pack, Polygon Snow Kit, uh, simple fantasy poly uh, mobile ready assets and simple airport. So, uh, sorry, airport. So, if you are looking for a uh, huge collection of uh, really low resolution or low low polygon count uh, models across a wide genre of uh, topics, this could be a good pack for you. Now, again. You can see confirmation right here. So if you read the verbiage on these two, it almost sounds like they're different sets. But you can see right here this one. Um, get the Premier Studio. That's everything above plus. So when you read some of the wording, you're like, is, is this separate packs? No, it's all inclusive. When you buy the top tier, you get all of the lower value dollar tiers. So just wanted to point that out. And then our final pack is the Snaps Mega Pack. And again, a good chunk of this, not all of it, but a good chunk of this was also in a previous Unity Humble Bundle. So do be sure to check what you've purchased. Uh, this one is the Snaps Pack, great for prototyping. There's generally a low def and a high def versions of things. We, we've got the Snaps Prototype Warehouse, uh, Art HD Warehouse, uh, Prototype European Village, Snaps Art Office, uh, the Dungeon and Asian Garden. The entire idea behind the Snap stuff is that it's module, you can snap it in place. Uh, that one starts at just 10 bucks. Uh, the $40 bundle also includes the HD versions of things. So this is Snaps Art HD Buried Memories Volume 2, Serac. I think. Uh, Snaps Art HD Asian Residential. Snaps Prototype Buried Memories Volume 2. Um, we got Snaps Prototype School and Snaps Prototype Asian Residential. And then when we get to the $50 tier, you've got Snaps Art HD Construction, uh, HD School, uh, Construction Not HD, uh, European Market, uh, European Market HD, uh, Train Station, Sci-Fi Military Base, power plant, and then train station. So those are the three bundles that are on right now. The world building one, the low polygon one, and then finally the snaps bundle. And again, you have until basically January 1st to get these. Speaking of January 1st, there is one more bit of news. This news actually isn't new. This was announced back in October of 20, October 17th of this year. And that is that Unity are increasing their prices on January 1st for Pro and Plus. So uh, right now, uh, Plus is $35 and Pro is $125. Um, it's going to go up to $40 for Pro, so a $5 increase. And then, uh, sorry, Plus is going up by $5 and Pro is going up by $25. Uh, and if you lock in now, if you get your subscription before the renewal period, you get it at the previous price. So if you've been on the fence about picking up Unity Pro or Unity Plus, if you get it before the end of the year, it locks you in at the current price. So if you pick up uh, an annual plan or a paid monthly plan, you will continue to get it at that price. Now, it may not be forever, but at least next year, the entire year will be the lower price. And hopefully they um, honor it for a long time. But once again, you can see Pro and Plus will be going up for new subscribers and new seats as of January the 1st, 2020. So if you want to pay the old price, you've got until basically January the 1st to get it. That also applies to Pro. You can get it at the $125 price point instead of the $150. So you're looking at savings of like almost $300. Actually, it is $300 over the course of a year if you get it now as opposed to... Um, you know, January 1st. So if you are on the fence about picking up uh, a Unity license, you really want to grab it before the end of the year. And then finally, uh, we're back to the uh, the um, 
I forgot the name of it again. Lost Crypt. Lost Crypt, Lost Temple, Lost Temple, Lost Crypt. Uh, here you can see again, a blog post describing what all is going on with this one. It's actually, this blog post goes into an incredible amount of detail. If you want to grab this guy, you just need to have a newish version of Unity. It uses the new input system. Uh, it also, by the way, when you import it, so to import it, just go to the asset store, download the asset, create a 2D project, import it into your project. And keep in mind when you import it, it will overwrite. And then it'll say, we need to use the new input system. You'll press a button. It'll say, we have to restart and then it doesn't do anything. So by the way, you are going to have to shut down and restart Unity before you can actually do any input in the game. So do be aware of that. But they walk through the setup process. The in-game uh, thing that I showed you before it crashed will actually walk you through this as well. But it shows you all the various different pieces that went together. So we've got the, um, the sprite composed of multiple pieces being driven by a bone network of uh, IK um, normal lighting so that the uh, the light the dynamic lights are interplaying with uh, the model uh, in the, the environment. We've got uh, day night life cycle explained how it, it's being put into place. Large or outdoor texture trains and how they work. So this is actually really cool. The dynamic train stuff that is coming out. Um, it, the sprite shape stuff is definitely really cool, and I definitely recommend you checking that out. Uh, building the the grid base part of the crypt at the very end. Uh, the fire effects that were used, the water reflections and how they were created, um, the wind, which for some reason runs exceedingly slow in the editor, um, but runs fine in the game. Uh, then the, the cinema machine for the, the camera and the particle systems and the, uh, the animated ghouls. I kind of showed you very, very briefly at the end. Uh, and then some post-processing effects and so on. So if you're interested in learning more about Lost Crypt, hey, I got it right that time. I will, of course, link that down below. I will link to all of the stuff. So I'll link to the three different bundles that are on sale, uh, the uh, Pro and uh, Plus subscriptions. So again, those all of those things are good until January the 1st. And then I will link to the blog post here for Lost Crypt in the linked article down below. Um, and again, all those links will actually have an affiliate code. So if you purchase them through this, I do get a small commission and I appreciate you doing that. So hopefully you guys found this useful. There's quite a bit to uh, digest when it comes to the Unity game engine today. I gotta say, again, it's a very short example, um, but it, it it packs a lot in here. So uh, if you are looking at creating a 2D game using a lot of the new functionality that's been baked into Unity over the last little while, uh, this actually demonstrates how quite a bit of it works. And again, it's, it's short and small, uh, but a there's a lot contained in here. So including like, you know, breaking down various different characters, how animations work and, and so on. So there's quite a bit to learn from this example. Um, and I think it was about a 200 megabyte download uh, asset wise anyways. So uh, talk to you all later and goodbye for now.